Hey guys, I'm sure you're wondering why my camera is pointed at my hoodie over top of some opened package, but I will get to this in just a moment. So anyways, um, oh, if you are a subscriber or regular viewer of mine, and if you've watched my review of my channel's second year, you would know that not only am I trying to finish up school this semester uh, so that I'm done with college, at least for the time being, but I'm also working two jobs between now and the end of this year. So that means that besides, even though, or sorry, even though I'm only taking one course this semester, with two jobs on top of that, I got to tell you guys the, the honest truth. I've been extremely busy at, in, during the month of September. And I know that for the month of October, now that school's starting to pick up and now we're starting to get to the time of year or the time in the semester where we start to have midterm exams for college, that means that, to be honest with you guys, I'm going to be really busy. So... If you've followed my channel for about a year or so, or for about a year now, um, you probably know by now that I rarely make channel update videos. Uh, the only exception to that was earlier this year when I decided to make a video talking about why I haven't made any videos for the past month. And in that video, that's when I decided to tell people and just the truth and say, look, Unfortunately, I'm being overwhelmed with school right now and with work on top of that, and I just have not had time to make videos. So now for in this case, this video is going to be a channel update because there's some stuff that I want to talk about in terms of things coming up for me and video ideas that you guys can expect from me very soon. However, I don't like doing channel updates because I feel like they're a waste of people's time. And I really, really, I honestly feel it's better to do a quick update at the end of a video where I'm talking about, for example, some more minor changes that were made for the 2017 CFL season, for example. But in this case, I felt this was an exception. And because I got a jersey in the mail today, I figured, you know what? Instead of just doing a boring channel update, I'll show you guys this jersey that I got in the mail today. I already opened it, but I haven't opened it, pulled it out of the package just yet. I, I, I put it back in, but I think I already got it out though. But I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a channel update anyway. I might as well make it a little bit more exciting and make it a little bit more entertaining than me just talking about the channel. Because I just talked about the channel for a good 39 minutes in my review of my channel's second year. And if any of you actually sat down and watched that, uh, I talked quite a bit about the past year, but in this little update video, I'm going to talk about what's happening in the not-too-distant future between now and the end of 2017, which is, of course, New Year's Eve. So anyways, without further ado, I'll start by pulling this. There's your first clue. Let's throw that hoodie out of the way. And let's pull out what I got in the mail today. So I've seen this jersey quite a bit on eBay over the past few months, but I never bothered buying it until recent, until I just saw um, a listing about a few, about a week ago now. And I decided, you know what? I've seen this jersey on eBay quite a bit for sale. I've seen multiple listings for it, and I figured, you know what, this time, why not buy it? I And you know what, the reason I did is because for I've always liked this jersey. And this is the St. Louis Blues blue jersey from the mid-1990s, which in the 1990s, this was their away jersey. This wasn't their home jersey because NHL teams did not wear dark jerseys at home on a full-time basis until the 2003-2004 season, which was when uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning, I remember that year very well because I remember Tampa Bay winning the Stanley Cup and while me and my whole family were on vacation 
So that's one little weird fact about why I know so much about the 0304 season. And of course, the fact that Tampa Bay took the Stanley Cup away from Calgary, which congratulations to Tampa Bay. In that case, because they beat Calgary fair and square, but I'm not going to lie. I would have liked to have seen Calgary win that Stanley Cup final because obviously Calgary is a Canadian team and Canada has not had a Stanley Cup champion since the 1993 Montreal Canadiens. So yeah. Uh, anyways, with this jersey here, I've always liked the colors of it. The shoulder patch was cool for the time. I would most certainly not want to see this shoulder patch make a comeback on their current jerseys now. And I feel their current jerseys now are far better than this one. But you know what? I honestly feel that the St. Louis Blues should have never gone with this and its white counterpart in the mid-1990s. I think what they should have done is they should have just figured out the fact that the look that they've had for the most part since the um, late 1990s uh, was the best way to go. And they should have brought that look out, that, which they have now in, as of 2017 again. And they should have brought that out in the mid-90s. And instead of that proposed monstrosity of a third jersey that these guys almost wore as a third jersey in the 95-96 season, they should have just had this as a third jersey. I mean, it's got a unique design. The colors are really cool. And I've always felt this was a great jersey. But not as a not as a main jersey, though. This would be a great third jersey. And if the Blues do decide to bring back a third jersey, even though I thought their navy blue one that they've had for the past decade was pretty decent, to be honest with you guys, I would be a fan if the Blues decided to bring this back as a third jersey. I think it would actually look really quite good again, in my honest opinion. But yeah, I figured that I'm doing a channel update video, and I figured... Since I got it, this jersey in the mail today, I'd show you guys this just to make the video a little bit more interesting. But anyways, um, let's see. I'm going to turn off my lights. There's no need for them to be on at this point. Alright, so now, bef now to wrap up the video and talk about the channel a little bit. Um, let's see here. Just bear with me for one quick sec here. Sorry about that. Okay. So the thing with my channel right now is that as I'm filming this, I haven't even finished my Adidas video series yet about the new Adidas jerseys for the 2017-18 NHL season. But the reason why I've decided to film some videos between as I'm working on that series as I'm filming this right now is because these videos I could put together much faster than those. And once I get those done, then I will be able to hash these ones out quicker. And this way, you guys will get to see more videos rather than going weeks at a time per video. And what I'm trying to do, do is I'm trying to get a situation where I can post about uh, a, one video every two weeks at the worst. So I'm trying to be pretty consistent with videos, but at the same time, I can't guarantee it right now. So with my review of my channel's second year and in this video as well, I've talked about the fact that I'm still in school for one last semester before I finish a uh, college diploma. And I'm, take, and, and I'm currently working two jobs as well on top of that. So in terms of making videos, October is going to be a really, really bad month probably. I mean, I looked at my schedule for school. I have an assignment due this week. I have a, a midterm exam next week, and the following two weeks after that, I have to, um, I know I have to start working on a group project and a group presentation already. So the next three weeks, starting this Friday, are going to get really, really busy for me. Because this Friday is when my first assignments do, and then after that, things start to get even worse from there. And with it, and at my other job, my second job that I'm working at, at least until the end of this year, uh, the next few weeks are going to get really busy there. But then in December, it's going to get crazy because it's the busiest time of year for where I work. And that's where I need to be 
where I'm going to be constantly working a lot because they're going to need the extra hands uh, working there. And my other job's going to get really, really busy around Christmas as well. So that means I, I'm probably going to be working at least five days a week, working two jobs, and at the same time trying to do a midterm ex or sorry a final exam for my course. That's going to be hell. And just like last year when I was taking three courses and wrapping them up all in December on top of working two jobs, this December is going to be pretty lethal as well. And and I'm going to be honest, <laughs> I'm the work part is good, but having to deal with work and school, that's going to be bloody lethal, let me tell you. But yeah, I mean, I figured I'd give you guys a heads up that between now and the end of this year, uh, don't be surprised if you don't see a whole lot of videos from me, unfortunately. I'm going to do my best to make sure that doesn't happen, but it's probably going to be, there's probably going to be at least one or two times where I go two or three weeks without a video. And I hate to say it, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'd rather give you guys a heads up now than later. When you guys, or make you guys have to find out the hard way by not making a video for weeks at a time. Um, let's see here. Also, in terms of videos that I want to do going forward, I still want to do a couple videos about the NFL's color rush jerseys. And I do want to eventually talk about baseball, but the thing is, I've got so many things to talk about still with football and hockey that I'm not even caught up on it yet, and it's killing me. Because I really do want to do the Color Rush videos at least. And also I want to talk about the Detroit Lions new uniforms as well. Because I definitely want to talk about their uniforms also. And I also want to do another video series about the NHL to talk about my final thoughts on all of the uniforms unveiled for the 2016-17 season. Like Toronto's new uniforms and Florida's new uniforms. And that series is probably going to be coming soon, hopefully, but it depends on my schedule. And also on top of that, I do want to make a video to talk about the last jersey ever unveiled during the Reebok Edge jersey era. And that is the Toronto St. Pat's jersey that the Leafs wore earlier this year. So I've decided that now that the Maple Leafs have actually thankfully announced a Toronto Arena's throwback jersey night... Um, I'm going to combine the two and make a video about both of those jerseys, and I'm re really, really excited to be doing that video. And yeah, so I'm going to do another series about my final thoughts on the NHL's jerseys from this past season. Um, I'm going to be talking about the arenas and St. Pat's throwback jerseys that the Maple Leafs have brought out and will be bringing out in the case of the arenas jersey. I still want to talk about the color rush uniforms in the NFL, and I want to talk about the Detroit Lions new uniforms. Plus, I also have a rant video coming up. It's a pretty minor one, but I figured it was worth doing. So I once I figure once I have more time on my hands, I'm definitely gonna get around to doing that as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. But yeah, I just figured that you know what? I had that jersey in that I got in the mail today as I'm filming this and I figured I wanted to do a channel update anyway so I figured why not show you guys that jersey I got as a way to kind of make the uh, channel update hopefully a little bit more entertaining than it would have been otherwise so anyways you guys with that I'm gonna call it a wrap for, for this video uh, I hope that uh, the jersey unveiling the jersey showing you guys the jersey I got in the mail today was um, made this a little bit more exciting for a video and I hope you guys thought that this video was worth your time watching and if it wasn't I do apologize for that so anyways you guys um, I will be back with more videos soon and as always until my next video take care and of course as I always say and I have for the past two years bye for now